Welcome to eSamplis Hub, where music theory is simplified. We are looking at grade five questions on compound intervals. Before you even start, two things you need to arm yourself with. First, the keyboard. Second, you should be able to sketch correctly the table of both your simple and compound intervals because you need to go to this table to verify the number of semitones and the interval. That is the interval number and the quality. So I will just start first by sketching my keyboard. So I have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. You might be wondering why I'm sketching my keyboard this long. I'm sketching my keyboard this long because in compound intervals, you need to count semitones up to 24 on your keyboard. So if your keyboard is short, in an attempt for you to come back and continue counting the semitones, you can make a mistake or skip a note. So let's look at our first question. I've sketched my keyboard and I already know in my mind my table of both simple and compound intervals. That is, I know the number of the interval and I know the number of semitone that interval should have. So looking at this first one here, our lower note is A sharp and our upper note is E. Now, how do we name this interval? In naming this interval, you count the number first on the stiff. Remember that compound intervals are intervals that are above an octave. So the first thing you do is count the number of the interval on the stiff first. Now I'm counting. And when you are counting, the bottom note is inclusive. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What I have here is 12. So I write that down. The next thing is to go to the keyboard and try to establish the quality of the 12 I'm having, the quality of this interval. Now, going to the keyboard, all I need, I read my lower note on the keyboard, which is A sharp, and I read my upper note, which is E. Remember, don't read a note leaving out the key signature. In this key signature, I don't have a sharp on E. So I'm good to go to mark an E. But remember, there is an E here. You jump that E and head for the upper E. So I jump this E and head for this E. Now, let's count the number of semitones existing. My hand is on A sharp. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have 18 semitones. Now from my table, I already know that a 12th interval that has 18 semitones is a diminished 12th. Diminished 12th. Now let's move to the next one. Always write the number out first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Another twelve. So I put my twelve here. Now I take away the first counting ID. I locate my note. Watch out, this is B because there's no sharp on B in the 
a key signature. So I mark B. Now I skip. You know, there's a there's a B there's a B here. So I skip the first B and I head for the F sharp. Remember, F sharp. There's a sharp on F. So F sharp above the next B. So this is my first B. So I head for I head for this F sharp here. Now let's count the semitones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So I have nineteen semitones. From my table, I already know that a twelfth interval that has nineteen semitones is a perfect twelfth. Perfect twelfth. Let's move to this one now. Number first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here, my interval number is a ninth. Now I go to the keyboard and establish my quality. My lower note there is E flat. This is E flat. And my upper note is F sharp. This is F sharp. There's an F here before this F sharp. So you skip that F and head for the F sharp that is above. Now let's count our quality. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I have 15 semitones. Now from my table, I already know that a ninth interval with 15 semitones will be an augmented ninth augmented ninth. Now let's count usually the number first. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The number I have here is a 14th interval. So I go to the keyboard to establish the quality. My lower note there is F natural well, this is f natural here and i'm going to you know, this is f natural i skip the next f and i head for letter e that is above that letter e you see my keyboard is short so i still need i will need to come back but i, I pray i don't make a mistake so actually when i get to that because my keyboard ends on, okay, let me even add a C to my keyboard to continue from C sharp so that I don't make a mistake. So actually this is where I'm coming. I'm coming to this note. That's why I said, sketch your keyboard long. Now let's count the semitones existing starting from F. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I have 23 semitones. Now from my table that I already know, a 14th interval that has 23 semitones is a major 14th. Major 14th. You see why I said you need to know that table at the tip of your finger. So when you count the number of your semitones, you'll be able to know the quality of the interval you are working with. Now let's move to that other side. Remember, number first. So one, two. Now the clef has changed. Please note, this is alto C clef and this is tenor C clef. So please, grade five students, you should be very familiar with these new clefs. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now I have 11th interval here. And my lower note, let me remove this. My lower note here, watch out. You know it's different. This is middle C. So you are going to have G. It means your lower note there is a G. So I'll head for this G. C, D, E, F, G. I'll pass one, then I'll go A, B, C. I'm going to C sharp. So after the G, I'm actually going to C sharp. I can just add a black key. 
on the sharp so that I have my C sharp so I don't have to count back. So I'm going to this C sharp. So I'm going from G to C sharp. So let's count to be semitones existing between those two points. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I have eighteen semitones. Now, to the best of my knowledge, an eleventh interval with eighteen semitones is actually augmented eleventh. Now let's do the next one. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The interval number is a ninth. Now I go to the keyboard to verify the quality. My lower note is G sharp. So I mark G sharp here and I'm going to G sharp there. I'm going to the up note, my upper note is one C D C D E F G A. I'm going to A. Let so let's count the semitones existing between these two points. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen semitones. A ninth interval with thirteen semitones is a minor nine. A minor ninth. So we are making progress. Just two more, and we are we are done with this. Now, at this particular question, what you are required to do, the interval has been given already, and a lower note is given for both. You are to write an upper note to form this interval. Very easy. Write a note above this note to form minor 13th. Write a note above this note to form diminished 10th. So number first, always, no matter how the question comes, number first. So let's establish, let's put a note on our 13th step from here. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13. Let me verify again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Good. So I've, I've put a note on my 13th step from the lower note. Now I need to go to the keyboard to verify that that note meets the minor quality. And if not, what am I to do about it? So let's just go and, um, and to the keyboard. Now, from my knowledge of my table of intervals from grade five, I know that a, th a minor thirteen should have 20 semitones. A minor thirteen should have 20 semitones. So what I do is that I mark my lower note on the keyboard and that is D sharp. So I go for this D sharp and I count 20, 20 semitones to see if it will put me on letter B that I've already indicated. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. It's beautiful. So I don't need to add any accidental to, to that. So that note there, just letter B, meets minor 13. Now let's do the next one, which is the last, but not the least. Now first, write your note at the interval number first. We are looking at a 10. So count 10 from the lower note and put your note. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we've located our notes on B. That is the interval, the tenth interval puts us there. So let's now go to the keyboard to establish the quality that where that note is makes this interval a diminished tenth. 
Now go to your keyboard and mark your lower note. The lower note we have here is G sharp because there is a sharp on G in the key signature. If you read it as G, it is wrong. It is G sharp. So mark G sharp on your keyboard. And from G sharp, from the knowledge of my intervals table, I know a diminished tenth should have 14 semitones. So from G sharp, I'm going to count 14 semitones and see if it will land me on the note I have, or if I have to add an accidental to my note. Now, from here, I count 14 semitones. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It landed me on a black key. This is why I said, Mark, put the note at the appropriate place before you come to the keyboard. Because when you come to the keyboard, you will be able to verify your answer. Now, my answer is on a black key. And because my note is already on B, it means my answer is B flat. So I'm going to add a flat to B because by adding a flat to B, that's making it B flat. It will meet this quality, that's diminished tense. Without adding a flat to that B, what I'll be having will be a minor tense. And the question is not minor tense, but diminished tense. So on this note, we come to the end of looking at compound intervals. And I hope in grade five, you know that all these compound intervals, there are other ways of referring to it. That is when the numbers are high, all you need to do is take away seven from these numbers. So another name for this now is compound diminished fifth. If you take away seven from 12, you'll have five left. So you another name for diminished 12 is compound diminished fifth. Then another name here is compound perfect fifth. Another name here is compound augmented second. If you knock off seven from nine, you have um, a second left. So this is compound augmented second. This is compound major seventh. And this is compound augmented fourth. This is compound minor second. And this is compound minor sixth. While this is compound diminished third. So that anyone you write in the exam, whether you write diminished 12 or you write compound diminished fifth, both answers are correct. So if you run into intervals in your grade five exam, this is how to go about it. If you find this video useful, subscribe to eSamply's YouTube channel and hit the notification button so that you get a notification when another grade five video is posted. I wish you all the best.